a guy by himself in a boat. Um, looks like he's lost. Hunters in the dark. <laughs> it looks like he's looking at the horizon, you know, the trees and stuff. It's very American tragedy looking. It's like a, a cabin, probably like abandoned. Water, I see river, I see an old shack. There's a lot of history in that shack. Those walls could talk, I'm telling you. He was looking at a house. I wonder, what's is that a house? There's like one house in the middle of a lake. And he's got a rowboat that looks rowboaty ish It's a canoe, right? He's in a business suit, but he's boating. He's wearing a suit on a boat, and I don't think guys with suits should be in lonely lakes. He's looking for his boss love. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Maybe he's trying to find meaning, you know? He's trying to find his path. It looks like uh, he had looked like they had a fight and um, things didn't go well and he's coming back alone. He's looking for someone, a girl. He's hunting alligators. He's in Cambodia, joins a tribe, finds meaning, and then he goes back to like living living life. He probably killed his wife in the city and is trying to get away from the police story is about making a bad choice. It's kind of a fatal attraction like thing where you make a bad choice and then you know there's really bad consequences to making a bad choice once you get involved with somebody. Hunters in the Dark is a riveting tale about a lost love. The gentleman and his quest to find what's really real in his heart and his life. Hi, I'm Tal Goretsky. I'm the designer of Hunters in the Dark. It's actually about a young British school teacher, Robert, who travels to Cambodia and gambles and wins a ton of money. He wakes up in the morning and he's all of a sudden on a boat in the middle of a river. He doesn't have his passport or any of the money that he won. So this gives him the opportunity to assume a new identity.